Hi, I'm Chris. Thanks for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. So I have two different things today. One is brandless. Um, this is the second box I got for brandless. Brandless. My first box I got in August, baby. August or the end of June, July. Um, I, I've been traveling quite a bit, so I never got a chance to really order another one. And then every time I think to order, they on the third of the month, when you order on the third of the month, they give three times as many meals. So like for every item you buy, they donate one meal on normally um, to charity. But if you don't, if you um, order on the third of any month, they give three. So I kept waiting until the third of the month to do it. And finally I was like, oh, it's the third, it's the third, I need to do this. So that's what I, um, I've been waiting patiently to reorder some things in here. I, several of the things that I got from them I was really super pleased with, so was excited to do that. And then I have um, a Grove box, Grove Collaborative. Um, this is maybe my third or fourth box of Grove um, as well. It's pretty new. Um, and I don't remember what I ordered. I don't remember what I ordered. Grove is interesting because I will say they definitely, their prices are good. Even for things like Mrs. Meyer's stuff, it is the price that you'd pay. It's less than the price you'd pay at Target, which is where I normally would buy something like that. I've got it to be really great prices. So I've been enjoying buying from them uh, for the various things that I need. Um, and then I've been experimenting with a few new things. Oh, wow. My packing slip, it says thank you. Somebody hand wrote that. How cool is that? Um, okay, so let's see what I got. I got some new things uh, in here. These are the coconut scouring pads. My, I have porcelain sink and it's an old porcelain sink. The same thing with my bathtub is porcelain. I live in an old home. And as porcelain ages, it gets, it's hard to keep clean in the way you'd like it to keep clean. So this has been, I'm gonna try these as well. I had used, what did they give me last time? Some sort of scouring pads. And I've been using that and liking it. So I thought I'd get some more. And I think there's, this is Mrs. Meyer's clean day. Um, Why did I get this? Oh, my brain's not functioning. So this is also a dry cleaner. Uh, I've been using, um, which is probably in here as well. Another box of Bon and Me, I think I tried. It's in here, hold on, let me pull it out. There's a bunch of stuff in here. This is the Bon and Me, which is a kind of like a power scrubber sort of stuff that you can use on porcelain and a num number of other things. And I like it. It's really, this is really inexpensive, dollar something. It's under $2 for this can. Um, and so every single time it doesn't have, it's hypoallergenic, no chlorine, no perfume, no dye. So this is what I have been using. So I want to compare the Mrs. Myers to the Bonamy. Uh, this is considerably more, this would be a treat. If you wanted to treat your sometimes you just need a treat in the kitchen for somebody who hates cleaning you want treats and so oh i said the t-r-e-a-t -E word and the d-o-g yes yeah, not the right word to use so that's that's why i got those i don't did i order this I'm wondering this is free. I don't remember ordering. This is, says new yes to coconut ultra hydrating energizing coffee two in one scrub cleanser stick. Yes to picking two in one hydrating cleansing punch with coconut and coffee one every day. What is this for? Oh, it's to clean your. It's to clean you. Interesting. I think one of these things is powdery. Maybe my Mrs. Myers. 
I'm seeing powdery stuff that's showing up in my kitchen. So, in my kitchen, in my bedroom. So this must have been something free. I did not order this. It's a, it says twist up stick from the base and apply generously onto wet skin. You'll feel the exfoliation go into action and the formula melting on contact. Massage with hands to create a milky lather, activating the cleansing's experience. Rinse face clean with water. That'll be interesting to try. Okay. Then, I tell you, one of the things they do is they pack things really closely into the bag. They really do try and have a kind of small tolerance. So this is, had to have been something. I did not order that. This is not something I would order. Uh, this is, this is an essential oil. This is the Awake. I got their Sleep and their Purify, and I've really been satisfied with them. Um, I like using essential oils. Um, I have a diffuser going at work um, uh, that I like to have going at work. And then I have a diffuser in the bedroom that we use at night to sleep. And then I have a diffuser in, the, in like my living room, dining room to uh, just because. It's, I like to use a mix of candles or my diffusers. And I kind of like the blends. Um, I, that way you don't end up with thousands of little bottles, which I have a lot of them. Um, so that's why I like this. And then, I got a sleep. This one is bergamot oil, orange oil, lime oil, grapefruit oil, and lemon oil. So yeah, gonna give that a try. I like the other two that I got. Uh, the other thing I got was a all-purpose scrub brush. All-purpose scrub brush. Uh, this is another thing to try in the bathroom to kind of help. It's ergonomically. Um, it's better it's grout it's for grout my countertops as well are they're tile old tile but tile from the 1930s so my countertops never really look clean unless they're wet which is too bad and the grout needs for changing and all that good stuff things that you just don't have time to do or you just stop using your kitchen for a long period of time and if you know me I use my kitchen a lot so that's what that about. And then I got, oh, these are tea filters. I um, drink loose tea at work, and these are um, unbleached and chlorine free. So I was out of the ones I normally use, so I thought I'd give these a try. Then the last thing I got is I have a guilty pleasure, which is Caldrea. Caldrea is it's a great company that makes all kinds of great scents. I love their countertop spray. Um, and I buy like refills so that I can make my own. It is just, it, it leaves your kitchen smelling good. It just cuts through grease. It's pricey. <laughs> That's the problem. It's pricey. But if you use less of it to clean something, then I figure I'm getting my money's worth. And not only that, you can smell it. Like if I do my dip, my favorite is their dish, dish soap. I love their dish soap. And every, about once a year, I buy treat myself to dish soap and use it sparingly because it's my treat in the kitchen. Because we don't have a dishwasher, so we have to hand wash everything. And whenever I'm feeling kind of, ugh, I get that out and the whole kitchen smells like it. You can, every time you walk through the kitchen to get anywhere, it just, it's just pleasant. So I got a candle. This is the basil blue sage one. My favorite scent is, uh, uh, paragave. Yeah. Blue paragave. I really like that one. It, uh, it's my favorite. Ooh, it smells like the sea. This is, I was like, I have the scent. I have the hand cream in this. So, it just smells like, and it's a soy candle as well, which I just appreciate soy. It just, soy burns better in the environment. So, right, it makes me happy. So that's my grow box. Um, orange palm frond. 
orange palm farm, Caldrea orange palm farm, that's the other one. And then they had this Christmas scent, which is this rose saffron. It, even my husband loved it. And they didn't bring it back this year. It was really sad. I wish I'd gotten a couple more products last year to have around. But they're very pricey. I mean, when you think of cleaning the surprise, it's probably pricier than you might like. But interestingly enough, they're owned by the same company that owns uh, Mrs. Myers. But they are definitely not the same sort of solutions at all. Um, not at all. And I prefer the Caldrea uh, countertops stuff other than I do my uh, uh, Mrs. Myers. Mr. Myers is good. It actually does that smelling good, but I don't think it's the best cleaner. All right, didn't think my brandless is gonna open. Brandless is a, everything they have is no sugar or um, added, organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan stuff. They have kosher stuff, um, gluten-free. It is, it's great. And everything on the website is $3, everything. Now there are some things you probably could find cheaper someplace else. There's other things that are gonna be more expensive. So it kind of balances itself out in the end. I was really happy with the stuff that I got the first time. I got a repeat of some things and then got some new things. Uh, we'll look at this together because I don't remember what I got. So, oh yeah, they're dish towels. So if my last brand list, if you saw, um, I have a cat who eats dish towels. Actually today, she decided to eat socks. Yeah, she ate through one of my socks. So there's just nothing, there's nothing sacred. I don't know how she still lives. Her little belly, I don't know how, I, she's gone through most of her nine lives. She doesn't have many left and she's only two and a half. So we'll see. Really like the dishcloths. They, um, I like them better than the ones I, my husband and I had this debate. Kevin and I had this debate because I think I got some at Bed Bath & Beyond that I think they were $5 for six. So this was $6 for four. But these are a better quality. They're thicker, they're nicer, they washed really nicely, they cleaned up really nicely. So I got two packets this time. I'll end up getting them every single time because every time I think we, we can only hide them so much. You can only hide them and she's a cat. She gets on things. There's no way to stop her. Sorry. She not, she's good, but she's not always good. Uh, we nickname her Evil Evie. Love you, Evie. Um, this is body butter. Uh, Moisturizing shea butter, no parabens, no testing, and the scent is in coconut water. I like, at night, this is the Bath and Body Works um, coconut shea, it's super safe, super soft, super soft. <laughs> Super safe, super soft. I really like this. Um, so I thought I'd give this one a try for three bucks. If you don't like it, it's okay, right? So that's what that the other one was kind of running. I wear it every night to bed. Then oh, toothpaste or mouthwash. This is a uh, non-GMO, no our flavor colors. Um, it has no alcohol in it. Um, it's fluoride free, alcohol free, SLS free, and it's peppermint. Both my husband and I really like this. We had been using the Trader Joe's version of the same thing. This is a uh, dollar cheaper and we like it better. I actually got two of them. Got two of them because we go if I'm only going to order every few months, one was not enough because we went through it pretty quickly. Uh, the facial toner. I tried their, um, well, here's the other one I got, wait. I got one of the others too. I tried their night cream, their moisturizer, the night, the day moisturizer, the face wash, and the... What's the thing with the grittiness in it um, when you're washing your face? It's like a scrub. What is, I think it's a scrub of some sort. Yeah. 
I don't know why I can't think of the name. Well, the I still had some face wash and some of the scrub left. The problem is, is that I have found something else that is not three dollars. It's pricey. Why is it that some of the stuff that you really like is really pricey? It's some facial stuff that I've really fell in love with, and it's pricey. But that's for another day. But I do like the night cream, so I get another. I got another bottle of that. Got another bottle of the night cream. It works really well. And then I did get another bottle of the toner, which I liked as well. Um, it I really liked it. It feels really good. And I haven't found another toner that I like, so yay. And I also got... Oh, and okay. Tweezers. Here's the thing. When you get to be a certain age, you might discover that there are hairs growing in certain places that you wish were not there. And you only discover them when you are at work, in the car, someplace where all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, there's a hair. And then when you're home and you have tweezers, you can't do anything, you, you, don't, it doesn't, you don't even think anything of it. So I bought a pair of tweezers just to put in my purse for three bucks so that when that happens, it can be taken care of. I forgot about that. Um, foot cream. Tried to, decided to try out the foot cream. Both my husband and I like this. I've noticed this, I've gotten older as well. Your feet kind of, everything happens as you get older. You dry out, your skin dries out, every different part of you, you've got hair growing in weird places. So we have foot cream to try. And then I also decided to try uh, the toothpaste. If we don't like it for three bucks, that's okay. If you don't like it for three bucks, you can send it back. Uh, Pearl Bar Faro. We really like Faro in this house. Um, they have a number of food items. This is the, I think the last one. The last one we got these little cranberry bars. Kevin wasn't real crazy about them. He eats them, not me. We got some beef jerky, but we like the beef jerky from Trader Joe's better. Um, what else did we get? Coffee cups. Neither one of us were real crazy about the coffee cups. The tea wasn't bad. I got some tea bags from there, but I wasn't real crazy about those either. I prefer the cheap one from Trader Joe's. And you got twice as much for the money at Trader Joe's. Uh, but when it comes to, I did not like the Trader Joe's Farlo. Um, so I ended up trying this. I, this is, um, and Farlo is not cheap. So I was really excited to see it for three bucks. It's one of those things that balances out. Um, so yeah, they got some Faro as well. And the last thing I got was um, surface cleaning wipes. Just, you know, regular old surface cleaning wipes. Are you okay? Grace. All right, sorry about that. Um, these are just to have around. You know, you wanna wipe down the kitchen real quick. You wanna wipe down the bathroom real quick. Um, you want to wipe down anything real quick. Uh, so that's the reason why. Um, I just wanted to try these. There's, there's not many in here. It's only 35, but it's probably the same amount as something else. I don't know. I don't remember. But for three bucks, if you don't like it, it's okay. That's the way I see it. So that was, that was my brand list. I really, you know, the great thing is, is that I, because I had waited so long between, they sent me another $10 coupon. $10 off. So I basically got three products for free. And if you use the link for the first time, they'll give you two products. So I have a link below. They'll give you two products free because they'll give you $6 right off the bat. Um, really is a great company. I love the fact that they give back. That to me is a big deal. I just, I like the fact that most of their items are, but not most of them. They're all, um, good for you items if they have none of the bad things in them. Um, and you know, there's some things that we like that there's things that we have to like. That's fine. For three dollars you can try it. If you didn't like it, that's fine. And I think if we didn't like it we could also take it back. But I don't think either one of us is gonna send anything back. So yeah, um, that's my hauls for the last this month. So 
thanks for spending time with me. I, I appreciate it. I realize you have these kind of odd rants and my brain does not necessarily stay in one. Squirrel, that's me. That's what happens. So thanks for hanging out with me. Um, Till next time.